Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, ETH has now reached the next target at $1,800. That was the next um, level to watch. It's now getting interesting because ETH is now at the trend line, has arrived at the trend line. Um, it still looks like a bit of an incomplete pattern, but I'm very happy with how this has gone. Um, so far, we could not com confirm a lasting low in place and we expected lower lows here still in our yellow support or trend reversal area. Getting really interesting, it's at 18.06 now. Um, I would think it is quite reasonable to expect one more lower high and one more lower low, and then that could be it, okay? Um, what I always have to say is that these coins, sometimes they like to develop WXY structures. If we see a WXY, it will not go much lower, then that could be it. We may not get away four and five, but I've added resistance now to this chart, which is basically 1828, 1829. If we get a sustained break above that level, it would be the first indication that a lasting low has been made and we may not get any more follow through to the downside. We need to be careful. A lot of people getting very bearish on altcoins. And to be honest, they are bearish. Yeah, the vast majority of altcoins is bearish. Um, there were, you know, you, you see how much they are selling off. Um, the vast majority of altcoins, I mean, again, most of them are bearish. I cover a few where we had some potential of the June lows, but all those, and as you know, I explained that all the time, most of these at best developed just diagonal patterns to the upside. So either corrections or diagonals. So, you know, that, that means in any pullback, like we see it at the moment, they need to prove themselves. A lot of them are failing. So... Again, just be careful with altcoins. That's sort of a consistent warning over the last few weeks. Um, Bitcoin, Ethereum are, in my opinion, still here the leaders at the moment. It's not an altcoin market. We don't have the alt season yet. However, what I want to mention here is that a lot of the altcoins are massively oversold now. So it could very much be that in the next few days, we see a rebound, a strong rebound. Um, looking at Ethereum as well, looking at the indicators... ETH, we are now on the one hour chart, oversold. Okay, that's not so relevant. Four hour chart, oversold. Okay, it's not too relevant, the four hour chart. Okay, let's look at the, the daily chart because here we have more space still. Uh, it can still drop a little lower, but it's now at 37. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good value already for a potential reversal. Last few times, however, ETH came down here to around about 30. Yeah, the last few times. Um, these three lows in November in March and in June, they were nearly at 30. So I would argue on the daily chart, we can still drop a little lower. Four hour probably deserves a bounce. That's pretty much in line with the analysis. You remember earlier today, we said one more low to 1800. That would give us the 1.618 Fibonacci extension for the third wave. So it's basically the ideal target reached. There you go. Here we reached that. It actually came down like $4, $4 lower, which is absolutely fine. Hit the trend line, bounced, but it doesn't seem like a lasting bounce yet. Anyway, 1830 is for me the key level. That's the 50% retracement level of the move to the downside. A break above that, if it's impulsive, will be a strong indication that a lasting low is in place. So all I'm saying is my observation. A lot of people are very, very bearish now on altcoins, which is correct. Just note that they are now massively oversold. We could get that sort of corrective rally or maybe, you know, maybe some of them are already turning around the next few days. They are just massively oversold now again after these two days of um, of, of selling. And Ethereum, Bitcoin, anyway, it, it would all fit together because Ethereum, Bitcoin, they are now coming down into these regions where we wanted to have them, okay? Just, just mentioning that here. What I cannot rule out is further drops, of course, until we have a low in place. I will confirm a low when I see it, but of course we need some data for that. Um, but we are now exactly where we wanted it. And in this particular one, two setup, that could be the setup for higher to $2,500 and beyond. Price can still drop a little lower all the way to around about $1,700. Below that level, the alternative bullish scenario will become active, which I showed you before, but we're not there yet. And we're not even too close to $1,700. That can happen quickly in the crypto market, but um, it needs to be a lasting break below that level to invalidate it, okay? Yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. 
If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.